Hi there, I'm Phil Kelly, and we're here at Star Fitness in Saigon. I have Mr. Kang here with me to demonstrate our next series of part two of the warm up process. So, in part one, we do joint mobility. Second part, we do dynamic stretching, and that's usually of either the prime movers or of areas that are generally tight within the body. The fourth stage of a warm up is activation, and that's of stabilizer muscles. And the final part is either a warm up or the heart rate section where the muscles get warm and the cardiovascular system kicks in. So, today we're going to do part two which is again the dynamic stretching part of the warm up. We're just going to go through four exercises, two for the shoulder and two for the hip region. So if you're going to be doing either um, a lat pull down or back work or any sort of pressing movements, then you want to be stretching out the pectoral muscles, the chest muscles or the latissimus dorsi and some of the back muscles. So we'll start with a dynamic and functional stretch of the pectoralis. So all I do is just palms down and then opening right out and turning those palms up. So again, we want to get a full range of movement through the chest, but also some rotation just to get the muscles around the joint um, active as well. So Kang is going to show us he's doing a full extension as well, just to get movement through the intercostals and just get the whole area really warmed up and moving. Yeah, that's great. So you see, bigger range as he can, not holding the um, uh, point at any time. He's trying to move through that range consistently. And now I'll do um, like this with dorsal side. So that is again just raising straight up. Now when you raise up, you want the thumb to point back because the lat actually attaches into the front side of the portion of the humerus. So by pulling it up and having that thumb back, you put an extra bit of stretch through the lats. So as he pulls back, he's got the thumbs going back. You can also, on the way down, rotate again just a little bit just to get the muscles around the actual shoulder joint active and, and moving through a good range before going into the exercise. But the key is to keep that thumb pointing back at the top of the range. All right, so moving into legs, the, um, the main sort of muscle we're going to work on are really the hamstrings and the hips. Now these are the most, generally, the tightest areas within clients. So um, first we're going to do just a fascial stretch for the hamstring. So he's going to step forward and really pull the toe up. So this is going to engage all of the muscles and the fascia and ligaments, tendons within the posterior chain movement. If I keep the toe down, it's going to just get more the hamstring. So we want to really pull the toes up so it gets the whole kinetic chain of muscles. So it's a nice, again, nice quick movement, just reaching down. So it's again nice and fast, at no point holding the position. That's it, just stretching through. And you make this a little bit harder by walking forward and taking some of that um, positional stability away so that you're actually functionally moving. Alright, that's great. And the next one we're going to do is the hips. So we're going to do just a, a hip flexor stretch. Again, nice and dynamic, so at no point do we really want to hold. We want to move through a full range, reach the arm up and lean slightly away so that you can get more stretch or length through the hip flexor here, the leosolus. So again, we don't hold and what we don't want to do is really step forward like we did. We want to step backwards just so that we get more activation of the glute when we do the, the movement. So it's a step back and then reach and stretch and come up, okay? So whenever we're warming up with the legs, we also want to get activation in the glutes because again, most people are quad dominant and don't use our bum enough. So we take this opportunity again, just to work in a bit of activation into the glutes, into the movement. But as he's stepping through, he's just loosening off the hips so he can do a fuller range and a safer movement um, through any of the leg exercises. So again, these were just four really simple movements. Um, there's a ton of exercises and lots of options to do for an activation, for a dynamic stretching before working out. Um, but these four are pretty much go-to ones for me. Um, we're gonna come back with stage three of the warm-up process, which is activation next time. So please keep uh, an eye out for the next video.
video. If you have any more questions about what we've done today or how to dynamically stretch correctly before working out, come on down to Star Fitness um, and ask my instructors or message me directly. All right, see you next time.